All right, today's video, a review of this Piwoka 4K Ultra HD action camera. I had a good experience with Piwoka. I bought their $20 action camera and it actually had a good picture and good sound. Surprised me for $20. This camera cost me just under $30. It was like $28. And the reason I'm giving Piwoka another chance is because their $20 camera was good. And this camera has an external mic option. If this is your first time on my channel, I'm a blue collar guy that collects cars. My dream is to have six vehicles. I'm up to four. The average person has one brand new vehicle that's worth forty to sixty thousand dollars. I rather have six vehicles than one brand new one. This is the last thing I bought. 1992 Geo Tracker. Paid seven for this. I should have bought one ten years ago when a Geo Tracker in this condition was going for three to four thousand dollars. They're going up in value. But this is the type of thing I enjoy to drive retro. And here's the interior. This came with the open frame mount and a hard case mount, waterproof. I don't need it to be waterproof, so I just drilled a hole so I could get the mic plugged in. There's the camera. It has a viewing screen. Even their $20 camera has a viewing screen. My GoPro Hero 3 Plus has no viewing screen. GoPros didn't get a viewing screen until Hero 5. But all these cheap action cameras I've been trying out with an external mic can't match GoPro's audio. So hopefully this one will. I'll be amazed if this has good audio for $30. It even comes with a remote. But you have to hold it down. You have to hold down the record button to get it to work. I'm going to do it right now. There it is. It's recording. But then to stop recording, you have to hold it down. See, and then it's not working. I want it to stop. I'm pressing the button. Okay, that see, it's not it's not reliable, so I'm not going to use a remote. I'm just going to record now and just edit everything out. Also received this mount for interior shots of the vehicle so let's see how this works out I have the mic next to the shifter this has such a great sound when you're going through gears I hope I hope you guys could hear it the AC is off I'm gonna press down the clutch right now hopefully you could hear the shifter clicking okay I'm gonna go through the gears right now I hope you could hear that. This thing is so much fun to drive because of how mechanical it is. And when you're shifting in, into the gears, that click is so, it's a, such a nice sound. One more time. Hopefully you could hear that. You might not even be able to hear what I'm talking about, but here's another thing. I recently replaced the washer pump on this and the passenger side had three sprays and the driver's side barely had a spray i think it was clogged up but there you go nice spray pattern now i wanted this camera to be good i wanted to be able to report to you guys that for $30, this is the greatest camera bargain of all time. Reviewed the footage 
of the camera outside, the mic inside, and again, horrible audio. And then when I put the camera inside of the vehicle, the audio was okay, but the picture was really zoomed in. So I'm gonna give it one more shot. And this time, I'm trying out the app. So here's the app right now. Let's try to get a good angle here. There you go, so you see the door open. So the door's open, so it's matching up with what the camera's looking at. So let's see if this even works as a remote. I'll go ahead and try out the app right now. So it's connected to the Wi-Fi on this phone. This is gonna record, so let's press record. And it says start recording with the time. Let's see if this even works. camera should be recording right now, so I'm giving it one more chance. Camera outside, mic inside, and we got a green light. So what I'm noticing is when I'm not in the field It looks like I have to stick to GoPros when it comes to filming outside the vehicle and having a mic inside. 30, 50, and $70 action cameras, they didn't do the job. To be fair though, this does do a lot for $30. The app is pretty impressive, but the audio just doesn't work. For whatever reason, the audio just gets really messed up as soon as the vehicle starts moving.